So, ever since I produced my song, Puppet vs. the Outlaw, about Trump and Biden, or Trump and uh, Kamala at this point, but that um, song that I put out, and ever since Trump got shot, my content has gotten insanely more popular. Like, I used to get between five and 9,000 views a month between my channels, and now I'm getting 378 thousand views a month and shitloads more subscribers something like 700 new subscribers and um, a bunch of you know thousands of likes or whatever on YouTube and then my other content you know Facebook and TikTok and Instagram and Twitter have all gained a surge as well and so when when I've been accused like my baby mama in Ireland accuses me of making content out of our parental alienation story where she's denying me access to my daughter and she's saying that I'm making my content uh, to make money or to you know get popular or something which I've never done like all of my popular content that's popular now a lot of it I made five ten years ago supporting Ron Paul not Trump but it's only gained a surge now because conservatism and you know Republican ism or however you want to describe it is becoming insanely popular especially after trump got shot so i haven't changed my content to become more popular like i'm not just making things that are going to be popular and viral i could do that and it's not hard to do that i mean look at some of these idiots like pewdiepie and and you know some of these very popular youtube content makers you know they sit and play games and they you know, they talk over their feed on Twitch or whatever, and they record it, and they make a bunch of money. I've never tried that. Uh, never been interested in that whatsoever. Um, never been on the you know new bandwagon for things. My content now is the same as it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. I'm still all in favor of the non-aggression principle, very libertarian principle. You know, you can defend yourself, but you don't go out, you know, and... Uh, be aggressive in the world and you know bully people I, I disagree with bullying still I disagree with um, the big welfare state I disagree with a lot of the new wave feminism stuff like this transgender thing I think that comes out of third wave or fourth wave feminism where they think that you can become a different gender you know as long as you think so um no other qualifications you know you don't have to have a particular chromosome makeup or you know particular parts it's just whatever you feel like um i don't agree with that i still support gay marriage and gay rights and great gay dignity and all that the lgb part of it all is fine with me happy they exist i'm happy there's diversity in this world and that we're not all the same um I've made videos ever since YouTube started being a thing, back in mid-2000s. I guess uh, I was looking, my first one was 2008. Uh, but I wrote on MySpace and on the bulletin board systems as a kid. I always favored gay rights and gay dignity and all that. Uh, even though that's not my tribe. That's not who I choose to hang with. They're, they're typically not on the same page as me. But I still want them to have dignity and respect and the same rights that I enjoy. And uh, if they want to be miserable in marriage, who is me? Who are who is me to stop them? You know, let them do if they do what they want. As far as I'm concerned, I've had a shirt for a, a while. It says, um, "Do what you want, pay for yourself." Libertarian. Still my philosophy, but now all of a sudden, and it has nothing to do with me changing my content or nothing to do with my politics or my beliefs changing. But just because I've stayed true to myself and I've made the same content for the last how many ever years, 20 years, um, now all of that content is gaining a huge surge from the new surge, from this new surge of um, republicanism, conservatism, you know, this um, fanatical support for Trump. And most of my videos about Trump are criticism for Trump, not you know, uh, praise or anything, but he supports a lot of the policies I've always supported, ending the Federal Reserve, ending a lot of the government oversight, uh, reducing taxes, which was great for our country, uh, corporate taxes and otherwise, and all that, like, you know, individual freedom, gun rights, 
all that stuff. He's even pragmatic on the abortion issue, which I'm also pragmatic, up to five weeks. You know, I get it. There are circumstances, but it's, you know, one of those things you make um, quick and necessary decisions and don't meander. You know, you get it done quickly, you know, if you have to, uh, rape, incest, whatever. But, you know, I don't believe in going after that, after the heartbeat starts. And he's pragmatic in that way, too. Um, but I'll tell you, uh, just yesterday, someone who I've been talking with for three years now, good friend, I would consider her, at least a good online friend. I never met her in person. She unfriended me because I had a discussion with her sister online about Trump. And uh, this friend of mine who unfriended me um, just started dating a MAGA supporter, like a non-apologetic MAGA supporter, which I thought was cool. And then I, I uh, friended this girl who I didn't know was her sister. They don't even have the same last name. They don't look alike. I had no idea. Anyway, we had a uh, discussion about Trump, and I was like, well, at least she's marrying a, a MAGA dude. and she, Or not marrying, sorry. At least she's dating a MAGA dude. And then, you know, we went from friendly conversation to her devolving into chaos. And it was more about how women... Uh, make less money than men. And I told her, I'm a business owner of three corporations I've had to hire. And when it comes to males and females, there's a difference. Men die at work. Something like 93% of all work-related deaths are men. I think it's 92.5% of work-related deaths are men. Showing their dedication to their field, to what they're doing. You know, they're all in. You know, or else it would be 50-50. You know, 50% women, 50% men. No, men are more dedicated or willing to give their lives for their work even, obviously. Um, men work an average of 47 hours a week. Women work an average of 33 hours a week. And so there's, there's a lot of difference in men and women and how they approach work. Men don't have maternity leave. They don't typically take time off for a baby to be born. But also... Just in an average work week, they're working something like 15 hours or 14 hours more on average than a woman would. So this whole thing with the pay gap or whatever, the 18% pay gap, it's bullshit. It doesn't really exist. When you compare apples to apples, you know, the studies show women make 3% more than men in the same categories. You know, the same dedication to work, same education, same skills, same time on the job, you know, same hours. They make 3% more than men on average. So I told them this, and this was something they just couldn't choke down. This one girl, the sister of my friend, uh, couldn't accept it. I'm like, you know, I would love to save 18% on labor. You know, if, if women only make 82%, or I'm sorry, 82% compared to men's 100%, if they're getting 18% less than men for the same work, well, hell, why don't I just hire all women? Why don't most companies just hire all women, you know? And, and save that money. You know, it's all about the bottom line. Hell, I love working with women. One of my best bosses, Carla Corkin from Talist, uh, CEO, worked with her directly. She was great. She was amazing. I liked working with her. I don't have any problem working with women. I just don't want to pay somebody 100% for only giving 80% of the work. You know, if, if a man's willing to work 47 hours a week for for a certain pay, say it's 50000 a year, well, I'm not going to pay a woman 50000 a year to work 32 hours a week. That's not going to work. That's not going to work for my my bottom line. That's not going to work for my company. So that, that's where I have a, a problem. That's where I have, I've lost some friends today, or as of yesterday, I guess. I just noticed today that I had lost them. But that's all I said was, no, I don't believe women get paid less than men. Well, they, they, they have to be victims. These people have to be victims. No, it's true. Women do get paid less. There's no, there's no excuse for that. It's not an excuse, but like the facts matter. And if women typically work 32 hours, 33 hours a week, and men typically work 47, which is what the data shows, then that's why there's a difference in pay. Makes a whole lot of sense to me anyway. Anyway, I'm glad my, my content has increased from, you know, less than 10,000 views a month. It was like eight or 9,000. Uh, views a month to now 378 is my last report 378,000 views on YouTube alone and the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of my websites and you know other social media it all just boomed in the last month and a half look at it for yourself check out this channel and others it's just it's just booming and it's just because I've stayed true to myself I haven't changed my politics at all other than I always said I wouldn't vote 
Democrat or Republican. I said, no, nah, I'm going to give all my support to the third parties so that they can get federal matching funds if they get up to 5% of the vote and all this and that. And so there's a third party. But in this election, it really matters. It matters more to me than before who actually gets in, which is not typical of me. It does matter this time. And I'm going for Trump. This woke, crazy-ass mind virus is... Elon Musk calls it the woke mind virus. Man, the only person that's going to confront that is Trump. And RFK is going to join up with Trump, it sounds like. Um, RFK is great. I can't understand him. He has that throaty issue, but I like his politics, and he's throwing his hat in with Trump. I love it. Elon Musk, Robert F. Kennedy, uh, Trump, you know, all these fighting the woke mind virus. Thank God. Candace Owens, you know, all these good conservative people fighting against this crazy, crazy point of view, this new woke point of view. I can't do it. I'm glad somebody's confronting it.